Okay, so an end of the day video here. I'm uh, on the second floor now. As you can see, we're prepping to start up here tomorrow. I get the scaffolding up here, and uh, we got a couple ladders and some other things we're going to be doing to try to make some kind of scaffolding situation here. Um, I'm going to take you down to the first floor. We were about, I believe, two rows short uh, down here, but uh, if you take a look, you can see where we're at with everything. We just have this little bit left right here on the end, right near the front doors that have now been moved down, if you notice. Just need to fix, <laughs> as you saw the door shut itself, um, fix the uh, pneumatic arm there. The one, the dude that was uh, taking the doors on and off, I don't know if he ruined the original screws or what the deal was, but the new ones are a little too short. And when I went to prop the door open, uh, <laughs> the whole system popped right off, literally. So, yeah. We're gonna need to fix that, but uh, other than that, everything down here has been been done. Uh, I had another deal worker with me that needs it fixed right there. He kind of thought the piece that didn't go in so well, um, but everything else is uh, pretty well together. There's no lights in here, so I apologize if you really can't see too well. But she's all insulated. If you notice, the back stuff's been removed. Uh, he didn't want that filled in yet, um, so those did go to the front. So whoever estimated did pretty close, but a little short. <coughs> So, yeah, of course, everything's been moved out of here, and the floor has been swept. Uh, it needs swept one more time. Uh, most of the junk's out here. The next project is loading up some of the bricks and other things down on the edge there that you can see. That needs to uh, be thrown in the dumpster out front. And I got other fellas sprayed down for mold downstairs, so that's been all cleaned. Because there was a little bit here and there from it being damp um, from when they had the fire and put it out, of course, you know. But I mean, everything's pretty good down there now. It's all cleaned up. And I'll show you a little friend that we found as well. There's a dumpster there. We had to do some animal removal here. I'm sure he's gonna try to get back in, but <clears throat> like I was showing her in the other video, all the gravel. Oh, you'll be able to see more of the garbage clear now from back here. But there's a fence and part of a fence and some miscellaneous bricks and things so this is the entrance to the garage and as you can see somebody on the wall that right there is an actual bat a little tiny bat the guy sprayed it with uh, bleach and it just kind of curled up so uh, I brought it outside let it sit and he was able to uh, I left sat him way over there he was actually able to come right here and flew him and stuck himself to the wall so I assume he's all right Interesting little creatures. Stay away for rabies reasons, but I'm not worried about them. Let's see how close we can get. There we go. Neat little guy. I'm sure he's gonna try to get back in there tonight, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, actually, the top of the door is open with the lock, so he's probably, he probably will be able to get back in there. So he's staying out here because of the smell, I'm sure. All right, well. It'll be tomorrow's project, is getting that top layer insulation done and then cleaning up the backyard here. Then we're out of here. Lucky pink feather. <clears throat> so another day, setting 